the other one is just uh, like a um, this. Hello people of the interwebs and welcome back to my weird little corner of YouTube. Here on my channel we do and talk about things and stuff. Things and stuff may include clothes, hair, makeup, tattoos, cats, serial killers, horror films, vlogs and DIY projects. So if you like the sound of that, maybe consider sticking around. Today I have a haul for you and this time it is an ASOS haul. It's my second ever ASOS haul. The first one was kind of a mixed bag because some things were broken, some things were a bit kind of useless or impractical. Anyway, I'll pop my first one in the cards up here so you can check that one out. Um, but yeah, I decided to grab some more things from ASOS today. So um, I got a couple of dresses. I actually bought a dress, so this is like really cool. So I have a dress that I well, it used to be my favourite dress, but now it's a bit too big. It's um, crushed velvet, it's like a teal colour, it's on one arm, it has got a long um, sleeve, on the other one is just uh, like a, um, this, a uh, what is this, strap, strap, yes, isn't it a strap, it is a strap, yeah, anyway, it's a really pretty dress, and I wore it to a wedding a couple of years ago and I didn't really have anywhere else to wear it um, because reasons we don't really go out nowadays uh, but yeah so I love the dress and it's my favourite I love velvet anyway and it's a really pretty dress but obviously it was too big because it's a size 22 so it's a little bit too baggy on me now and so I was watching, I was watching damn I can't English today I was looking on ASOS website and I found my dress again. I never thought it would happen because I bought it like three years ago. But yeah, I did. So I bought it in a 20 or an 18. A 20 or an 18. <laughs> and so I'm excited to try that on because I thought I would never have that dress again. Because, you know, once you buy something, it could just be in like, it's sold out and that's it. But yeah, I'm excited about that. So I've got about two dresses, I think got some tops to be fair I ordered this such a long time ago but because I was on holiday we went to London and then things just got really busy with the house and everything and then uni started and then I was a bit stressed out so it took me forever to start filming but I am here now and I'm gonna try things on and we shall see so yeah let me stop blabbering, as I always do, and let's have a look at the clothes. So the first item is a dress, and it's uh, by ASOS Curve. This is a size 22. I think I got a 22 because that's the only one they had left, because most of my items are usually from the sale. Let's be real here, because I like a bargain. <laughs> So yeah, this is a dress. It's like a dark red colour. I think it's darker in real life than it shows on the camera, but it's really, really pretty and it's a beautiful, um, I don't know what it's called. It's beautiful. It, it reminds me of like medieval times. Um, and there's a little bit of ruching at the front. Um, what is this called? I don't know. I'm so bad with materials and that. But anyway, it's got tiny holes, see, throughout the whole thing. So this is not just like um, sewn on it, but there's like holes in it as well. But the problem is, to me anyway, it's just weird because there are holes all the way down the dress, see? Um, there's no underlay or anything. So I'm not really sure if this is really my jam, um, but I'll try it on anyway. I, I like, 
I liked it on the model, I just didn't realise that there was no under something all the way down, so you're basically showing off your skin, your underwear, whatever you're wearing under it, people will be able to see it, even though they have tiny holes, but still. Maybe it's a bit too exposed for me, I don't know. I don't know, I'll try it on and we shall see. So here is the red embroidery dress. This is the one where you can literally see through all these holes and <laughs> I'm not sure about it. I think, oh wait, I think that in this one I would have needed a 20 rather than a 22 because the arms are a bit too big and hair is a bit too baggy for my liking. I love the colour, I think it really, really is a lovely colour and I love velvet. Obviously I've got two velvet dresses in this haul. But yeah, um, it's a beautiful dress. Here is the back. I kind of think I should have got a, got a 20, which I think they didn't have at the time. And I, even then, I don't think I would like it because of all the holes throughout. I thought there would be like a slip dress under it. And you know, if it's your uh, thing, then this is a lovely dress, but I just don't like that there are holes everywhere. That's just me. The next item, I might have already tried it on because I was so excited about it, but I haven't worn it out. I just wanted to try it on. I left on the tags and everything, but I'm definitely keeping this one. It is a uh, by Collusion, and it is a cropped hoodie, which I wanted a cropped hoodie for like months now, and I couldn't find any that I liked. And it has these um, photo, oh, photographs on it, in very interesting colors as well. The hoodie's a really nice size too, just like, really cool and it has a thick band at the bottom of the hoodie just I guess it's just under my boobs or just above the waist but yeah I think I have found my absolutely favorite hoodie my new favorite so yeah I love what it looks like I love the colors it is so different it's not me in a sense that it's really colorful but I don't mind if I'm wearing like black jeans and black shoes and black top then something colorful I really don't mind so yes, I can't wait to try this on and show this to you guys and I hope you will like it too. Here is the Collusion hoodie. Yes, 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 yes. <laughs> I love it, it fits perfectly. I just think it's really nice. This is a size 18 by the way, they didn't have a 20. But the length of the arms are fine. The length here is fine. And it fits perfectly in the shoulder as well, so um, I feel that I didn't need the 20 anyway. I love this. Perfect fit, I love the pattern, and it's just amazing quality all over. So, yep, yeah, double thumbs up. The next item is a pair of trousers. It is a by... Oh, there's more package. It is by Unique 21. And these are the faux leather trousers in black, very shiny. I already don't know if I like it because it's not, It's. I thought it was going to be leggings, but this is too big to be leggings even on my calves. Um, obviously I'll try it on and see what it's like because the material um, seems really nice. I'm just not sure if I will like it, like at the bottom because I like these trousers or leggings all these leather like leggings to be really nice and tight so i'll try them on we'll see what it's like i don't even know how long it's gonna be on me probably like mid calf i would say it's not very long but yeah we shall see what it looks like so here are the faux leather trousers um you know those trousers that are stretchy everywhere but the waistband well, these are those trousers. So there was a zip on the side, but it won't do up. So everywhere else it fits okay. Got a little bit baggy here. Yeah, I couldn't do the zip up because the waistband is not stretchy. So yeah, that's a no from me. Come ASOS, you're not doing great this time. 
The next item is another pair of trousers, but these are like high-waisted jogging bottoms. I'm always on the lookout for these because sometimes I just want to throw something on to pop to the shop to do something that I just want to be comfier. La la la. And I find it a little difficult to find um, jogging bottoms that are high-waisted enough for my liking. You all know how obsessed I am with high-waisted, so... And these are by Street Collective and just high-waisted mix and merch something something. Um, it's really thin. It's almost see-through. I don't know if you can see through. Maybe it's just because of the light. By the way, let me know what you think about this new place. I mean, it's not completely decorated, but I'm in the office now. And I bought a ring light. Am I a YouTuber? So what do we think about this new light situation let me know uh but yeah so the length seems fine i don't know how um skinny it's gonna be on my legs because we all know i have big calves so yeah this is just a very simple and basic um thing but i'm just really excited because i want it to fit nicely and comfortably but still look nice is that too much to ask is that too much to ask though so these are the high-waisted joggers. They are extremely comfy, so they come up to here, so they are truly high-waisted. They are quite slim fit, um, but not too skinny. Yeah, I really like these. I think I'm certainly keeping these. Right, so I'm just giggling to myself because the next item is so outside of my comfort zone, not even comfort zone, just very different from what I would usually go for. And I'm not really sure if I was having like a 70s like workout fever dream when I bought these. They are wonderful, but they are weirdly wonderful. So anyway, they are Puma, they are 3XL and they are very red and very shiny. They are these leggings. <laughs> Just so weird. Um, look, I mean, this is anything that's not me. I don't know why I like them, but for some reason I like them. Maybe because it's shiny. I'm like a magpie. I just love everything that's shiny. And there's a big puma sign on this side. I don't know. I kind of feel like I could fill it off if it fits nicely. I don't know. I'll try it on and we'll see. Um, I kind of feel like I could pull it off. Maybe I could. <laughs> I don't know. How unlike me is this? I don't know. I'm going to try it on. I'm quite interested and more like intrigued to see what this looks like on me and how I feel when I try. <laughs> so yeah, let's do that. All right. So <laughs> we have the Puma leggings on. Um, yeah, unfortunately, they're not high-waisted enough for my liking. I mean, they have certainly a look. Whether they would come up to, like, here, that would be fun. <laughs> I look like a red sauce. <laughs> yeah, no. It was fun to try on, but this is a definite no. Just... No. The next item is another dress and it is by Skylar Rose. It's really pretty, it's very different. It is a, they call it a skater dress. I don't know if it's a skater dress. I think it's more of a bodycon-ish, I don't know. It's long sleeve. It's this really interesting, shiny, but also stripy material. Um, it's got a zip at the back so you can easily get it on. Um, and the front is quite busy, I would say. Can you see? But I don't know. I just kind of like it on the model. And so I just wanted to see what it looks like. So I'm pretty excited to see. I'm not sure if it's going to be my cup of tea. But I guess we just have to wait and see. Am I rhyming? I think I was. I have skills. I have skills. So, um... Here is the black dress. I'm. 
almost speechless, and that doesn't happen often. <laughs> I wait. Let me turn this off to make this better. I don't know. Can you see this properly? I can't decide what is the best light. Anyway, this is the black dress. I really am not a fan. I like the shininess, but everything else. This does. There's this detail I don't like. This is too much ruching for me. I don't know why there's a frill here. It's too short, and yeah, no. <laughs> this is the bag. It doesn't look, well, it does look horrendous because the dress is horrendous. Just, um, no. No, 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 no. No. This is the dress that I had previously in a bigger size and it still looks really nice. It is longer than the other one was, I guess. It was smaller on me. But I really love what it looks like. It's a very different dress. I've been like, when I was at the wedding and then we were then going home and walking and they were like, oh my God, I love your dress. Um, so it's one of your dress, one of those dresses that you will get um, compliments on and people talk to you about it. But I kind of like it. What do you guys think? I love the colour. It's very me. I actually even have like the same colour um, tunnels that I bought for the wedding. So if I ever wear this dress again, I will wear them over there. This is the back. I think it's, it's rather spectacular. What do you guys think? So we got to the last two items, which I forgot to unpack. And these are both belts. Um, one of them is should have read it, should I? ASOS Design Curve Chunk Chunky Chain and Padlock in Silver. And it says twenty to twenty-four. Oh okay. Oops. Here it is. I think that looks really cool. Looks absolutely tiny though. Is how is no right? So I'm supposed to put this one here. Mhm. Mm Let's see what size this fits. So this is not a size twenty. To 24 that's all I can say this is more like a size 8 or something <laughs> yeah I think they messed it up once more ASOS has messed it up or I just don't know how to do this but I don't know how else I could wear it I don't think there's any other way yeah this is just not big enough unfortunately so I won't be able to try that one on and I reordered the other one because I really liked it and I just thought that I should try once more because the other one was not working. Let's see. It's working this time. Yay! So it's the utility belt with this gold chain. I usually don't wear gold. But with this, for some reason, I kind of liked it. This is in a UK 20 uh, to 22, but it's obviously, you can make it smaller because it's just one of these. <laughs> these. <laughs> so yeah, this is finally working. So I'm excited to try this on. And the other one, I can't try it on because I'm not a size eight or whatever that size is. It's definitely not a 20 to 24 that I'm pretty sure of. So yeah. Let's try this one on as well. And here is the belt. I just put it on <laughs> with the uh, jog jogging bottoms. But it fits nicely and I, I love, love, love. I really love this gold colour, which is really weird for me. But yeah, 
I really like this one. I think it's going to look really nice with with jeans and everything. And it fits perfectly. Obviously, you can make it shorter or longer. Yes. I really love this one. Even though, as I said, I'm not a gold person. But this, for some reason, just looks really cool. Yep, definitely a keeper. So, this was my ASOS haul. Thank you so much for watching. Please let me know which one was your favourite piece. For me, it's definitely the Collusion um, hoodie. It's just so cute and I just love it. I just love everything about it. But yeah, please let me know in the comments below what you thought was the nicest item. Also, you can find all the links to everything that I've tried on today in the description below, as well as my Instagram and Depop. So if you fancy following me over there, that would be great too. On Instagram, I post more regularly, I'd say. I try and post like daily outfits, but then if I look like a gremlin all day, I won't post that. <laughs> and, and I post on my stories quite a bit. And on Depop, I need to put some clothes up on Depop now that I remember. Anyway, so yeah, if you want to follow me on Instagram and Depop, or if you want to find the, the links to the items that I tried on today, it's all in the description. So yeah, again, thank you so much for watching. If you like this video, please don't forget to hit that like button. And if you'd like to see more of me, then click on that subscribe button and the notification bell so when I upload a new video you are the first. Yeah. Uh, yeah, thank you so much for watching again and I shall see you in my next video. Bye!